यदि नसीब में नहीं हो कोशिश तो की करेंगे जरूर यदि नसीब नहीं हो तो हम डॉक्टर बनना चाहते हैं I love music and I love spending time with young people. I know that a lot of people are suffering. So it's my dream to do save. I was just hoping that I will be free one day. Free from hunger. I never planned to do this. You know, I never um I never sat down one day and said I'm going to start a organization to feed hungry kids. But our vision is that every child in this world should receive one good meal every day in their place of education. And that is absolutely possible. There's more than enough food in the world. The first time I came to to Malawi in 2002 was it was a terrible year of famine across southern Africa. Millions of people were facing starvation. Villages where people were literally eating uh, the roots of trees and the leaves of trees to to survive. I first met Edward and and his family that that same year. And Edward was about 14 years of age. I I said to Edward what what you know what are your hopes what what are your ambitions He said to me I I'd like to have enough food to eat and I would like to be able to go to school one day And that was it that that was the extent of Edward's ambition at 14 years of age His words had a massive impact on on me and and then lots and lots of other people and I don't know how many thousands of times I've repeated them the idea of one meal every day in a place of education for the hungry child like Edward you know to meet their immediate need for food and at the same time to to tackle that underlying cause of of poverty by enabling them to to come into the classroom and through that this this work of Mary's meals was born simple you know it's like a common sense thing 
you know, that, that a child would have a meal every day in school. You know, and, and maybe it's so obvious that those of us that were blessed with that, you know, in our own childhoods, it's not something you really thought about as a, as a gift. Um, but when you see children who don't have that, um, it seems obvious that they should, you know, and, and if we can do that, why wouldn't we? I lost my father when I was 11 months old and my mother when I was eight years old. You don't have someone to comfort you when you're sad because my mother used to comfort me when I was sad. I never chatted with my father because he died when I was very young. But my mother, I miss her so much. It was hard. It's a hard life. When you're hungry, you cannot be able to think. I used to go to school without food. And receiving Mary's mail changed my performance in class. After receiving Mary's mail, I was going to class with a full stomach, so I was active and be able to listen to what the teacher is saying. I'm studying education in business studies. Education is important because when you're educated, you have power. People do not take advantage of you. I want to be independent one day to do my things in the way I like. I want to have my own money and to live my own life, good life. I have been held over the enough. I keep on working hard so that I'll be somebody. Last time I visited Malawi, I was invited to go up uh, Traoni Mountain. The chiefs and the head teacher of the school were all there to meet me and to tell me how much they needed Mary's meals. Because of the community, you just desperately want Mary's meals. And there was, there was a huge problem because it's three miles from the nearest road. How would we get the food there? And when I said that to them, they immediately said, well, we'll carry the food. We'll come to the bottom of the mountain. If you can get the food there, 
we'll take it up for our children. Mary's Meals program is a very simple local program. We provide the food to the community. We get locally produced food. The program cannot run without the community. And the community play a great role. Normally, each bag was supposed to be carried by one person. But there was this lady called Elbe. Elbe had carried three bags of 20 kgs. 60 kgs, one person. It was just unbelievable. You know, and, and it's not just about those of us on one side of it going and giving. It's that, that community coming to meet us. You know, it's, it's a lovely example of what May's Meals is really all about about that meeting of, of communities, you know, and, and it's actually a very special thing. Sarah <laughs> My name is Poonam Kumari Shah. I am 15 years old. Four brothers, two brothers, two brothers. Papa, at least six months or seven months, I was admitted to the hospital. The doctor gave me an answer to Papa that if you can get a seva, you can get a bus. प्रॉब्लम हो जाता है हमको कहीं जाने में क्योंकि हम शुरू से निकले नहीं थे क्योंकि जब पापा बीमार नहीं थे तो हमारा जितना जो चीज जरूरत था वो पापा लाके देते थे जब पापा का ये बीमारी जब पापा चल फिर नहीं सकते तो हमलोग तो एक हफ्ता पूरा भूखा थे। आता है तो क्या कर सकते? दिन में यही दुखा और कुछ भी नहीं ऊपर वाले के लिए। नसीब में नहीं हो कोशिश तो की करेंगे जरूर यदि नसीब नहीं हो तो हम डॉक्टर बनना चाहते हैं
यहाँ से खाना मिलता है तो हम लोग को ताकत होता है और खाने की वजह से हम लोग का दिमाग में भी थोड़ा ये हिम्मत आता है हम उसको कुछ भी बात बोलते हैं तो थोड़ा लाउड से मतलब चिल्ला के बोलते हैं बोले हमसे मत लगो क्योंकि हम लोग उस अभी पढ़ने उम्र पढ़ने का उम्र है ये सब चीज़ करने का नहीं where people are killing every day and there's a lot of hunger, a lot of misery over there. You can become two things in Sidi Sole, a gangster or a good person, but it is easier for you to become a gangster because this is what you see every day. When I'm going to school, I'm going to school from this way to this way, but this way is fighting against this way and this way. So I need to cross the river, the canal, to go to school on the other side. People shoot while you are, you are like crossing the river to go to school. If I'm a gangster today, I have control of the city and another person is a doctor. If I die today, you'll find someone to replace me right away. But if the doctor die, maybe in 30 years, 40 years, you'll find another doctor. It is easier for somebody to become a gangster than become, becoming something good in the city. You can go through the internet and you type Cité Soleil. On the internet, they only post somebody with a weapon and a kid dirty in the mud, those kind of things that you'll see on the internet. They, they would not post like someone like me playing a guitar or go to school. <laughs> Good things, they won't, they will never die. I love music and I love spending time with young people. But I have to say that food was one thing that kept me in schools. If you didn't feed me, I would not have a chance to become what I am today. If you didn't give me this education, I would not be able to become what I am today. If Mary's means can do impossible things, I can do some impossible things too. The solution is not only about hunger, but it is about bringing peace to, into our heart, into our lives. I think this generation is the one who is going to bring a lot of change, a lot of hope, a lot of happiness in Siteso. Please join me in honouring CNN hero, and I'm proud that he's a fellow Scotsman, Magnus McFarlane Barrett. On behalf of, of the thousands of people all over the world who are 
are working to, to realise this vision that we have, that every child in the world should be able to receive at least one good meal every day in the place of education. Today, we're feeding 460,000 children. <laughs> I am from a family of seven children. I'm working at the Medes Mills as a school feeding officer, uh, based here in Balaga, where I'm monitoring 17 schools. Oh, as a man. Wow. Ah, I'm going to go to the school. I'm going to go to the school. It's our duty to make sure that the volunteers are coming in large numbers make sure that the school is feeding each and every day and you collect their enrollment. So as we are trying to teach these learners, these are the ones who are going to transform our life. But with the coming of the males, males uh, the enrollment, we can say it has doubled. The pass rate has also increased. I'm so happy and I'm so enjoying this way. But uh, as education is a tool for changing each and everything in the world, I think a change will come, I'm sure. <laughs> there is one thing that we have to focus on, even the government has to focus on, is to empower people up here. I lost uh, both parents when I was young. At the age of 11, there was no more breadwinner. It was difficult to have food, to have good things now are best. I lost my, my dad through road accident. <laughs> so it, it was hard. Uh, Many Mills introduced to this program of something. I have something in my stomach at school. Yeah, that's why I'm saying that this program saved my life. They saved my future. I think it's a beautiful thing that this work that's grown, you know, in this unbelievable way around the world was ignited by the words of a child. Yeah, it was, a, it was the words of a child. It wasn't, it wasn't us, um, some development expert sitting somewhere or us in, a, in an office uh, back in Scotland. Uh, it, it was the words of a child. Okay, so is this, this, this is you? One. This yeah, is you? yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, who's this? 
this one Cinti. tcc mm -hmm. uh area c angera renato no. amiko okay yeah and uh, that one was uh, my mama my mother mm -hmm. so that time we, he was a uh, very ill he was, was very sick, sick. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember it. Yeah. It was 2002, the month, November. 22 November, Absolutely. 2002. How do you remember that? Yeah, I remember November. it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember yeah. it, yeah. Yeah, that's exactly it. Yeah. No, I thought it'd be nice for you to have those pictures. Yeah. Right. We didn't begin Mary's meals in his village even. It was some years before it got to, to Balaka where he lives. <laughs> I knew that for Edward, uh, Mary's meals came too late, that he'd missed school. His words and, and this amazing thing that's grown out of that, that's, that's helping so many children. It was great seeing his younger uh, brother in school eating Mary's meals. There's a risk if, if we think too much about the big numbers, the, the global scale of, of, of poverty and, and hunger. It's more important for us to think about that next school that's, that's waiting, you know, along the road or on top of that mountain. That next community that's waiting, that next child that's, that's waiting. This hill that you're seeing today, it's, it's, it's a little difficult. Coming from the foot of the mountain to the school, it can take you, maybe for the first time, it can take you not less than three hours. So the people are really strong, and we appreciate for this because we are also encouraged as our mayor's meal that the, the program will be sustained because this will be the only way where the people will be getting their food. I'm very uh, happy to be able to announce formally today that Mary's Meals is now feeding one million children every day. My mother saw a lot of people not ending up being in college. So if she's seeing me in college, Delicious, huh? The DM for liquor could be a name to have to go get around me. I gave a chicken of honey. You know, put the 
करेंगे कि आगे का दुनिया कैसे हम लोग को हैंडल करना है I think there's a risk reaching a milestone like this, but the last thing I would I would ever want is for people to think that's a great job done. I really think we've only just started. Even my son, mm -hmm. when he is studying in primary school, he is going to eat. Sometimes the best school I ever want to see.